Hey guys, I'm on UK here. Hope everyone's doing well today. I'm going to be moving the Lacius Flavus Queen into the Formicurium that was sent to me by Ants to Formicurium. Um, this is the little Formicurium is perfect for this. The reason I'm doing this is because my Lacius Flavus is sort of in emergency situation. She's running low on water because it's drying up in the test tube. She's also losing a bit of weight, which is concerning me. So the sooner I can get her into this Formicurium, the easier it's going to be to supply her with food and water it'll make my life a lot easier so guys i put some footage together live recording on my dslr and i hope you guys like it please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon thank you hey guys it's Aman uk here i don't know if you can hear me but this is um audio coming through my um, camera and i've decided that the former curium that i got from um, ants to former curiums is i'm thinking of um, attaching up my Lysias uh, Flavus Queen, who's got workers, into this um, hole here on the test tube adapter so then they can start their colony because at the moment they've sort of uh, run out of uh, water so I think it's very important that I uh, move these into a little setup as soon as I possibly can and so we're going to do that today, okay? So the first thing I need to do is, as you can see here, there's mesh on this. Now this, uh, when I was talking to Ants to Farm Aquariums, is originally meant to be a hydration part, so you can plug up a test tube with water or food supply. But it, I think it's meant to be for water, so you plug up a test tube with water and the mesh would hold the water back. And that way the ants could feed on the water, or drink the water, sorry. Um, so. What I'm going to do is go and get some scissors and I'm going to cut that out and then we're going to attach this up and I'm going to add in the food dish. I'm going to hydrate the nest a little bit with a pipette and then put the lid on and hopefully use this little thing which was the lid off, the, off, off this for either water or food. Um, but this is quite a deep water dish so I'm probably going to end up uh, putting some cotton ball in it and putting some water in there. So I'll be back in a few minutes, guys. Alright, guys, I'm back. Okay, so I went and got myself some uh, lovely scissors and I'm just going to, if I carefully can, I'm going to try and punch an hole in this mesh. Oh, uh, it's, it is. Okay, let's put that, it's pretty tight. Oh, there we go. I'm going to circle that around a bit. I don't know if I can actually grab any of the mesh with the actual scissors. Um, the camera might come out of focus a bit here because this camera is not the camera I normally use for these recordings. Um, when I do these distant recordings, I tend to use a different camera than this one, but unfortunately I've run out of batteries for the other camera. And I haven't been to the supermarket to buy any, so I've not been, I, can't, I can't use it. So I'm using this one, which obviously is a manual focus DSLR. So what the one I use for macro and I find it a bit difficult to record stuff at distance because of the type of lens I've got on it which is a macro lens so it's close up um, so when you're doing distance stuff it goes a bit out of focus unfortunately and I have to keep refocusing it myself okay so I've sort of removed most of this mesh um, there's still a few little bits in, in there what I'm trying to do here is I just want some more for the Lacey's Flavus to live, of course, because they've run out of water and they've got, she's got about 10 workers in there, maybe more. Um, I think I think when we counted last time when we looked, there was about 12. So it's getting to that point now, it's getting difficult to feed them, uh, it's getting diff difficult to supply them with water, so I'm getting very concerned because she's getting kind of small and she seems to be losing weight, so... I'm going to try and emergency move them into this as soon as possible. Right, I think I've managed to make a hole. I've removed most of the mesh. Okay, so we removed the mesh. Um, before I connect it up, I'm just going to go and get some cotton wool and put it into this water dish and put some water in there. I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I've got myself a bit of water here. Um, just normal bottled water and I was thinking that maybe I could just use the wool off this for the dish or I might use the smaller dish 
which I think I might just use the smaller dish as they won't drown in it and use that for food. Uh, so yeah, we'll hydrate the nest a bit. So what I'm going to do is just use the pipette. Just grab a bit of water here, not too much. I'm going to hydrate it too much because with Lacey's flavors, they like hydration, but um, they, they don't like it, you know, too much. So we'll just add a few drops on top of there. Okay, maybe I do need a bit more. <laughs> it didn't soak in at all. Okay, uh, there we go. What what you want to do as well, like if you've got some sort of pharmacarium like this and it's a white hung, is um, to stop like mold and stuff growing. You want to. Um... Okay, maybe I drank too much of this water. <laughs> um, you want to switch sides every time you dampen the nest, just so. You know, just so that you're not getting a mold outbreak because if you keep dampening one side, you're gonna start getting generating mold, which is something you don't want in the nest, okay? So you wanna, every time, so say like I did this right side, maybe in a week or two, I'll do this left side. Once this is dry, I'll do this side, and I'll switch, and I'll switch, and I'll switch, and I'll keep switching between the two every few weeks. That way, we'll, you know, there's less chance of um, getting some mold. So now I'm just gonna get a tiny bit of water here. Come on. No, no, no. Okay. I've dropped the pipette inside the bottle. <laughs> ah, okay, I think I've got it, guys. Hold on. There we go. Right. Let's get some more water. This'll do. I'm just gonna put some water in this dish. Oh, the good things about the pipette as well is that when you put a water down in a dish, it does it in a uh, perfect drop so I'll just put two drops in okay and then I'll keep an eye on that so I'll just put um, that dish inside the form aquarium now guys um, you might see a bit of a overcast of a shadow but um, I'm thinking I'll put it on this uh, left side here okay it doesn't fit <laughs> Okay, you know what I'll do? I'll put it on top of there because if I put it on top of the white hung, you know, they might climb up and get it. So I'll just uh, add a few more drops. All right, so there's some water there for them. Then there's a food dish. At the moment, I'm not sure what I'm going to feed them, so I'll just put it in on the right side. Okay. And we're basically ready to to, um, to introduce them into the farm aquarium. So bring her in a bit closer. I might have to adjust my camera, so I'll, um, if, if I'm gonna adjust it, I'll obviously be back in a few minutes to just adjust it so we can get closer to watching um, the ants hopefully move into the formicary. Well, anyway, uh, we'll undo the cotton wall here. I can see inside that we have the queen. There's quite a good, there's a, there must be about 12, 15 workers actually. So let's uh, hook her up. Hopefully, there's a natural worker there on the outside. I oh, hope he's not escaped. Or she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's right there on the on this corner here. Come on, move, move out of the way. I don't want to squash you. Okay. That's, okay, that's. I think that's nice and snug now. I don't think they're going to escape. And there we go. So um, it's all hooked up and ready for them to start moving in. We'll obviously put the lid on. We don't want any escaping ants. It's the last thing I want. Um, but yeah, guys, what I will do is I'll probably get some fruit or something and put it in the food dish, and it'll uh, hopefully encourage them to move in. But what we'll do is we'll get a bit closer up with the camera, and we'll hopefully we'll be able to capture them actually moving into the nest. Okay guys, so I've attached it up, um, I've added some food into the back in the plate, but uh, I think because the are so slow, um, might be some time yet before they actually do decide to move into it, especially with it still being hibernation season, so they're very slow. I did have one or two workers check out the hole, but they literally they just went in and turned around and went straight back out, so what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna give it a day or so. I'm gonna cover it up, 
make it dark and see what happens and hopefully they'll probably move into the um, Farmark area but it, it's looking pretty decent and I hope that you know this should be a big help to them um, and they should be able to obviously flourish here and I can add other extensions onto it later on like what my plan is to do with this is once they've finished um, moving in through the test tube is to unplug this and we'll attach this to an outworld probably one of the outworlds that I've got from Ankit uh, at the moment anyway guys I was going to mention today that uh, on my website at the moment in the shop section um, you'll be able to find a lot of pharmacariums in there these are recommended products by me uh, I was looking around on Amazon and stuff and these are some of the um, so, some of the products that I've listed on there are some of the best pharmacariums that I think are really good for beginners and people who uh, people who are very experienced in obviously ant keeping um, well there is some good good pharmacariums on there if you want to have a look at them you should be able to see some of the orange little workers here just on the edge of the cotton there you can see them well that's the regs but I'm pretty sure that's the back of them Let me, I'll try and get a side shot on here so you guys can actually see what's going on it's very difficult because the the way the actual cotton wool is on this chest test tube there we go now you can see her with the workers uh, and she's she's doing pretty well but obviously because they've run out of the steins run out of water I'm getting a bit concerned so this is why I need them to move into this as soon as possible Anyway guys, uh, thanks for watching, hopefully next time in the next video they've moved into the Pharmacarium, I'll keep you all updated and posted on it. Uh, don't forget to check out the shop, shop section on my website and see if there's anything you like on there. Obviously I'm going to be adding more recommended products uh, for you guys to buy if you're interesting, interested. Um, anyway, thank you, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'm on UK.